We're in uh, the pits of great expectations. Uh, Robert Hilton is behind us here, as you can see, working on the motor right now. We're standing here with his son, Tyler Hilton. So we've only got two top fuel cars here at the Hot Rod reunion this year, which is unfortunate. Uh, and the politics behind the scene, we're not going to get into that. But you've got Brendan Murray over there, and you've got Tyler, who's going to be over here driving the uh, uh, Lee family car, Great Expectations. Yesterday, temperatures were, track temperatures were ridiculous. Today, it's not going to be. Has that changed strategy from qualifying to now? Yeah, Thursday was unbearably hot and greasy, um, like the worst racing conditions probably possible. Yesterday and Friday, yes, Friday was a little better. Um, but yeah, we make big changes because of that. And especially with the dragsters on the small tire, it makes it really touchy. Hello. What do, what do you guys what do you guys run in this thing for an engine? A big block Chevy. Yep. Big block Chevy. Uh, a lot of more modern components in it, but at the end of the day, it's still stock dimension. Big block Chevy. You could put a steel pan on it and a, a stock set of steel heads if you wanted. Are you guys unique in the Heritage Series with running a big block Chevy, or are there other cars that are doing it? Uh, there used to be, and then I think for about the last four or five years, we've been the only one. Uh, it's actually a new car being built. I think they just finished it with one um, that they're just coming out with, but I think we're uh, we're the been the only one for a minute. Okay. So uh, with your strategy with the track, humidity's down today too, which is going to change the setup of the engine too, the tuning of this car, correct? Oh yeah. Well, it's always humid down here in Kentucky. Uh, a lot of water in the air, water grains. Yeah. Uh, high pressure came through today. The barometer's better. Air's drier. Yeah, it's going to be a whole different, whole different deal. So it, that's good. It'll be easier to make a little bit cleaner power and not have to flog on it. So I, I was hoping Allison would be here this weekend, but she's not. She's back at home taking a day off, right? Where do you guys go after this uh, on the Heritage Series? What's the next race so people know? Uh, Boise, Idaho at Firebird for the Night Fires. Uh, first weekend in August, like always. Uh, that'll be next. Then Tulsa in September, and then back to Bakersfield for the reunion in October. So I, I just got to ask you, racing up at Boise, Completely different than racing here, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's like it's like band. You know, it's like when the big cars go to Bandemir. You make a combination to go there and only there, and like you can run good there one year with a combination for there, come back the next year with the same combination in the same conditions there, and it won't work. It's just like yeah, it's like being on Mars. But we really like racing there. It's a good track, a good crew, good family that owns it. And, yeah.
<laughs> all right. Well, we'll be out on the track filming all this today. So we wish you good luck uh, against Brendan. Uh, is there a possibility that you guys might make a second pass today since there's only going to be a final round? Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure how the schedule's going to end up. Uh, I think we might now be running our final with the other finals. Um, we, we might make a test here middle of the day. Uh, we, we might. I don't know. Okay. We'll see. All right. Sounds good. Thank you for your time. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, maybe we should wipe some of the oil off. 